Before we begin, I wanted to send out a thank you to all of you who commented and left questions on my previous video. It became apparent uh, within a very short time that I did not provide enough detail as far as what's changing on this channel relative to the focus. And that's what this video is about. I'm going to explain everything that's changing and everything that's not changing. So stay right there and I'll be back and explain the whole thing in just a moment. Alrighty, it is a dark and stormy night. I don't know if you can see the lightning flashing out there occasionally or hear the thunder, but it has been uh, raining the better part of the afternoon and it's uh, still going on this evening. You might hear thunder occasionally. Um, I don't know if the mic will pick it up or not, but anyway, that's beside the point. Let's start at the beginning. One of the comments I got, or one of the questions I received uh, by email from one of my viewers was, Magnum, are you not going to do any more car videos? Well, the answer is, I think the answer is no, I'm not not going to do any more car. In other words, yes, I'm still going to do car videos. But here's the, here's the twist. Previously, the car videos and the cooking videos and all of the videos I did were primarily for entertainment. One of the things that we're changing is we're still keeping the entertainment value, but we're adding an educational element to it. In other words, since the focus is now on starting a new channel, getting more views, watch time, subscribers, etc., and also videography tips and techniques and tactics that you can use to make your production more professional, the educational element of this is that if I do a car video, which I probably will do several of those, I will include uh, educational material in there, like why I put the camera at a certain angle, why I used multiple cameras on a shot, why I used slow motion, why I used time lapse, and how things were set up, how I did the audio, whether I ran straight direct audio into the recording, or whether I recorded it separately and then synced it in later. I'm going to try to include a lot of videography and photography uh, tutorial information along with the video so that you'll get not only the entertainment value of seeing all those beautiful eye candy roll by, but also some of the, the back backstage or behind the scenes uh, videography techniques and uh, tricks that I use to put the video together. So I hope that's uh, something that you'll find valuable. I hope it will broaden the audience a little bit more so that we have people that enjoy the entertainment value and also those who want to know how something was done in the video to make it come out the way it did. And I think that is the sum of everything I wanted to explain. If you have any questions or comments, I hope you will leave them down below. And I will leave you with a question here. What would you like to see? What type of videography uh, tutorials would you like? What kind of topics would you like to see, whether it's cars, cooking, music, uh, three chord progression on a guitar or a piano or whatever it happens to be. What would you like to see? And I will try to put together a video on that topic and include various elements of videography. And it was at that point that my SD card became full. I didn't realize it because I didn't see a message on my screen because I was looking at the lens instead of the monitor. And uh, when I watched the video back, it stopped before I finished everything I wanted to tell you. So that's the reason 
that I'm talking again, saying the same thing I did before, even though you don't realize it. So, where was I? Oh yes. Just to recap real briefly here, we're going to still do the same topics of videos that we did before, along with a lot of uh, new information regarding starting a new channel and uh, growing your existing channel. In addition, we're going to add some educational material to the videos as well as the entertainment that hopefully will be inherent. And uh, one thing I didn't mention was B-roll. We're going to talk about B-roll, why to use it, when to use it, how to use it, where to use it, and how to shoot it. Uh, we're going to talk about uh, aperture, when you want to use a wide open aperture, when is it better to use a closed down aperture. We're going to talk about lighting. We're going to talk about all of those videography terms that will help make your videos more professional, get you the views you want, the subscribers you're looking for, and the additional watch time. So hopefully it'll be a win-win situation for everybody. I'll still get to do the great, I mean, I'll still get to do the wonderful uh, topics that I love. And uh, hopefully you'll benefit from uh, learning some additional skills that you may be looking to learn. So I think that's it. And as I've told you over and over and over again, in life and in YouTube land, the most important thing is that you always stay focused.